nuevos amigos. Guess where we're going today? Did you say a birthday party? You're right. Today is Diego's birthday and we're going to celebrate. Let's do our nuevos amigos cheer. go to the party. Let's see what the verb for today is. Hola! Is anyone out there? I'm here, Señorita Garcia. Hola, Juanita. Do you have the verb for today? I sure do, Señorita Garcia. The verb for today is celebrar. To celebrate in Spanish is celebrar. I'm so excited that it's Diego's birthday today, aren't you? I sure am, Juanita. Will you use the verb for the day in a sentence? Of course I will. I like to celebrate birthdays. Me gusta celebrar los cumpleaños. Repeat after me. Me gusta celebrar los cumpleaños. Very good. Me gusta celebrar los cumpleaños. I like to celebrate the birthdays. Thank you, Juanita. I'll see you later at the birthday party, Señorita Garcia. Adios. Adios, Juanita. Now that we know the verb for today, let's sing our Nuevos Amigos theme song. Hola, Juanita. Hola, Diego, and happy birthday. Feliz cumpleaños. <laughs> Gracias, Juanita. <laughs> I'm so excited about your birthday party today. How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Hmm, let's see. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cuatro. I am four years old. Tengo cuatro años. That's wonderful, Diego. I'll see you at the party, okay? Adios! Adios! <laughs> Thanks everyone for coming to my party. We're going to have so much fun. We're going to play on the playground, eat lunch, hit the piñata, and eat some birthday cake. I'm so happy everyone's here. <laughs> let's go get on the slide, Melanie. Okay, let's go. This is going to be fun. Here I go! Whee! I think I'm afraid. Tengo miedo. Tengo miedo means I'm afraid. Don't be afraid, Melanie. I'll wait right here for you. Okay, Juanita. Whoa! See? Wasn't that fun, Mommy? It sure was. Let's go again! Okay. Do you know the rhyme? In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. That's right. Columbus's voyage was the beginning of Spain's influence in El Nuevo Mundo, or the New World. I'm getting ready to celebrate Diego's birthday, and I want all my friends. 
mis amigos, to be able to break the piñata and get candies and toys. But have you ever asked where the piñata came from? Well, the piñata is used in many of the Spanish-speaking countries to celebrate special events. They were brought over by the Spanish conquistadores to what they call the New World, which are North America, Central America, and South America. Let's spin the globe and take a look at where the Spaniards came from. Dale, 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 no pierdas el tino, mide la distancia que hay en el camino. Wow! They came from Spain, España. Not only did the Spanish conquistadores bring their language, Spanish, but they also brought with them traditions like the piñata to all the countries they settled. But you know, it is so crazy. The piñata originally came from Italy. That's right. In Italy, it was called a pignata, or cone-shaped, and was made of clay pots. Today, piñatas are made in different shapes and colors, from the traditional star to animals, cartoon, and television characters. And they are so much fun to hit. Ah! <laughs> Don't forget, learning about other cultures helps you to better understand the world we live in. I think I'm going to have a hot dog because I'm hungry. Tengo hambre. I'm hungry in Spanish is tengo hambre. Mmm, this is so good. <laughs> Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Hey, nuevos amigos. We're playing hide and seek. Can you count to 20 in Spanish? Seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho, diecinueve, veinte. Diego. <laughs> you sure did. That was fun, but all this searching made me thirsty. Do you know that I'm thirsty in Spanish is tengo sed? Tengo sed. Do you want some punch, Melanie? Okay, Diego. Let's go get some punch. Whew! I'm hot. I'm hot in Spanish is tengo calor. Tengo calor. Did you know the opposite of hot is cold? The opposite of calor is frío. Tengo frío. Can you say that with me? Tengo frío. Good job! I'm going to go play on the swings. I'm having so much fun. I think it's time to break the piñata. Hey everyone, let's break the piñata. What's wrong, Juanita? I was swinging on the swing and I fell off. I bumped my head. Are you okay? I'm in pain. Tengo dolor. Tengo dolor. I'm so sorry, Juanita. I hope you feel better. It's time to break the piñata now. Break the piñata? Oh boy! I think I'm feeling better now. <laughs> Uno, dos, tres de chocolate. Uno, dos. Oh, nuevos amigos. I was counting to see how many different kinds of candies I was able to gather. We broke our piñata. Would you like to learn how to make a piñata? Great! You will need the following materials one round balloon that can be inflated to 11 inches, newspaper strips, liquid starch or paste, tissue paper, masking tape, and glue. Inflate the balloon to 11 inches and tie a knot at the end. Now, go ahead and pour your starch into a bowl. 
apply four layers of newspaper strips, which have been dipped in starch or paste. Now what I'm going to do is just dip one side of the strip with the starch, and just one side, and don't let it fall in. <laughs> Just dip one side and then with my hand I'm going to take off the excess starch. Then I apply it onto the balloon just like this and lay it flat. I'm going to do one more and remember don't dip the whole piece of newspaper <laughs> into the starch. Just do one side of it. Use your hand to get rid of any extra starch just like this. All right. And then you apply it onto the balloon. And you're going to cover this, and you're going to do this four times. Remember, amigos? Now, what you're going to do, and just lay it down flat, is you're going to leave an uncovered area at the end. And this is the area near the stem for the piñata opening. Allow the form to dry, and then you're going to deflate the balloon. Now, you're going to add a harness. And what you do is you're going to add a rope all the way around. You're going to tie it all the way around and secure around the fullest part of the form and use the masking tape to attach this rope. And that's how you're going to hold your piñata up. Then be sure to leave a loop at the end of the harness near the piñata opening so that the suspension rope may be tied to it. Now you can decorate your piñata by applying tissue paper. You actually use one whole piece of tissue paper to cover the rope and the masking tape, just like we did here. And then we used a piece of the tissue and cut the fringe, just like this, all the way. And don't completely, don't cut it all the way to the edge, just halfway, or three-fourths of the way, actually. <laughs> now you glue it just like this. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of work. But won't our piñata look beautiful? Now remember, piñatas can come in different shapes, sizes, and colors. Let's review the steps. Step number one, get all your materials together. Step two, inflate the balloon and tie it at the end. Step three, apply newspaper strips to balloon. Remember, just on one side of that strip, but have an uncovered area for piñata opening. Do four layers and make sure it dries each time. Step four, allow form to dry and deflate balloon. Step five, attach the harness by tying rope, securing around the fullest part of the form. Use masking tape to secure the rope. Step six, decorate your piñata. Step seven, let the piñata dry one more time. Step eight, once completely dry, filled with candy, nuts, fruits, and you can also put money in it. Wow, piñatas are filled with surprises. You can save your piñata for your favorite special occasion or your birthday. Just remember, get out of the way when the piñata breaks. Gracias, everyone, for coming to my party. I had a wonderful time. Hola, Diego. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm sleepy. Tengo sueño. I had a lot of fun and now I'm sleepy. Uh, tengo sueño. Okay, Diego. 
I know you've had a long day today. Go ahead and take a nap. Una siesta. We've had a lot of fun today, nuevos amigos, and we also learned a lot of words. We learned, tengo calor, tengo frío, tengo hambre, tengo sed, tengo miedo, tengo dolor. Oh, let's not forget, tengo sueño. We also learned cuántos años tienes, and you answer by saying tengo your age, and then you say años. Like Diego said, tengo cuatro años. The verb for the day was celebrar, to celebrate. The sentence for the day was me gusta celebrar los cumpleaños. I like to celebrate birthdays. Thank you for coming and celebrating Diego's birthday with us. And remember, when we learn another language, we also make new friends. Adios!